let's learn how to add a fill in the blank to review vocabulary and monitor students' understanding. In the activity and content selector menu, choose quizzes and games, then fill in the blank, and click add to begin creating a fill in the blank activity in your Nearpod lesson. There are three basic steps to creating or editing a fill in the blank activity. Step one, type or paste copied text into the gray box. Remember to keep it under 1000 characters. You can vary the text by size, color, or style using the 10 options on the left side of the screen. Step two, click next and select the words you would like to remove from the passage and use as the word bank. Select a word by clicking one time directly on the word. If you change your mind, click on the word in the word bank to return it to the passage. Step three, click done to add the question to your lesson. If this is a new question, you will find it at the end of your lesson and can drag it to the best location. To edit this or any other activity, double click the activity to start editing. Consider two ways you might use the fill in the blank activity. The most basic way to use fill in the blank is to type or paste sentences that include the current vocabulary words into the activity. The vocabulary words are the words you choose to be part of the word bank. Another way to use the fill in the blank activity is to use short passages instead of sentences. Students use the word bank to demonstrate understanding of the concept using context clues or based on previous learning. Both of these uses provide students with the additional opportunity to practice using a tech-enhanced question, similar to those on a standardized assessment. A pro tip for quickly creating a fill-in-the-blank is to use an AI, or artificial intelligence tool, to generate new and original passages on any topic and for any grade level to use as the text for your fill-in-the-blank. So much faster than writing one yourself.